If there's one thing technology could do that it hasn't quite done yet, it's uh, invent teleporters. I, I would absolutely love to, you know, because sometimes you haven't got that much time off. You've got three days, you want to sit on a beach and eat curries in Vietnam. I'd like to just get there immediately and not have to think about 20 hour traveling and time zones and crap like that. Teleporters, do it. I mean, when I first started designing, I think the biggest difference was that it was, it was straightforward pen and paper then, like you just sat down and you drew your designs. Now, I mean the process hasn't changed a great deal, I still do the first designs with pen and paper, but then it makes sense to do them into an Illustrator file so that you've got all the options and colour ups and sending the file and it's all very clear for people to use and read. I think the biggest difference is more to do with the communication and, and being able to share the actual work that you've done. Um, that makes that whole process a lot, lot easier. I think that the matter of, of what comes out of all the research and things that you can find on the internet is still down to the individual. You know, there's a lot of work out there, but there's still, it still comes in varying degrees of rubbish and really good, and it, you know, it's up to you to sort of sift through it. I would have been able to do what I do now 10 years ago. It was just a very different way of doing it. You know, there were designers and there was this whole big media industry out there and it was, it was a big PR machine. And essentially that's what the internet has done, is just given people the power to get their message and get their products out there a lot better. It's a great, great time to be creative because you have so many more tools to help you do it. And like we've said before, you, you have so much access to all the other creatives out there. So there's just, it's a constant flow of inspiration. And I think that's what's better. It does make the whole thing move faster, but that's not a bad thing either. You know, like the constant generation of ideas and constant generation of beautiful creative things is, is, a, is a great thing, I think. You can panic when you're trying to find out about something. You might skim through something. And, and I think there's a lot of people out there who might have read just the Wikipedia page and, and, and constitute that as knowledge on a subject. It, it really isn't. Art is a really good example of that. Like you can, you can read through the history of an artist and you can see examples of their work, but until you go and stand in the gallery in front of that piece of work and actually sort of immerse yourself in it and sort of bathe in the colours and understand the scale and, and see it historically why it's relevant, you don't really know about it. It's like, you know, it's like you could read about how to surf on the internet, but until you go and get tumbled in a sort of six foot face down in Hossegore and get tumbled around like a washing machine, you're not gonna know about it. So it, it doesn't teach you everything, it just gives you access to everything.